Hi, I'm Melanie Oliver and I'm in Portugal at FEST. <laughs> okay, so my presentation is about, I think I, it's important to me to say how I got started editing okay. and originally from New Zealand, but it's, it's about the difference between cutting a normal film, which is predominantly drama, and the use of the sort of fashion of musicals and staying within that realm. So when you edit a normal film, you can take words from a scene, you can swap them around, you can come in wherever you want. With a musical, you have a set period of time in which the song sings for. And because someone else owns that song, you just can't cut it up willy-nilly. You have to work within the constraints, but also tell a story. And that's incredibly difficult. Uh, editing a film can ruin a film, but can also do the opposite. Yeah, I, I would never like to think that editing ruined a film. Mm -hmm. I think that would be near impossible. I think what happens is you, you're told to make changes. You're told to move the film along. You know, I think it, when you make films, it's not an isolated situation. There's, there's a huge group of people that surround the film. And through that comes a navigation in which the editing room has to do. And sometimes you don't have that control. Of all your works, what is the most, w w what was the most challenging of all? I definitely would say Les Miserables because Tom had never, no one had ever done live singing quite like that. And it's not live singing like I'm going to sing to you on camera. What Tom did was he allowed the actors to play it like a scene. So they could slow down, they could go fast they could hold on to notes so they could play around with the structure of the songs. Most musical uh, directors wouldn't allow that to happen. They expect you to stay on time because that's the respect of their medium. But with Tom, because the actors were allowed to basically do whatever they want and also it was incredibly physical, like Anne Hathaway when she was dying was, was you know, she'd stopped drinking water. She was in quite a physical state, so it was difficult at times to sort of make that fluid. Mm -hmm. What do you think of uh, this ritual of passing your knowledge to uh, uh, other people? Do you like I think it, it? I think it's brilliant. I must admit, I haven't done it a lot, but I work with a really strong group of assistants, and they're very, very important to me. I mean, often when they get a bit older, they go on to become editors themselves, but a lot of them have stayed with me for sort of some have been with me nearly 11 years now. And it's because I expect them to tell me the truth. I expect them to come into the room and if they like something, I really want to hear that. But often they say something isn't working and I can get a bit grumpy or a bit sort of hurt ego-wise, but I want them to tell me because they're not going to be the only people that are going to tell me that something isn't working. So when I work with those people, I try to create a rigor where we're all involved. And just hearing Philippe talk last night, I was so, I didn't quite understand what the festival was. And I think it's super important to actually meet someone that makes films now, because the lens has completely changed since COVID and Black Lives Matter. Why? Why? Because of social media and because younger people feel that they have the right to say how they feel. And it's not just younger people, everybody does. Politically, people have become much more aware. They know they can speak out or they can try to speak out. And I think the norms have changed. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about the, the, the new era of streaming? Uh, there are differences in, in, in your work? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I love the idea of going to the cinema. I love that collectiveness. I went and saw Top Gun. I thought it was brilliant. Um, I didn't quite like what it was saying all the time, but I love the collective energy of it. Um, streaming is great for being at home and it's made the whole COVID situation incredibly possible. But I believe in collective activities. I love the theatre, I go to see dance all the time, I live with a composer, so I'm very much into being together. The streamers 
have brought so much work to the industry, it's incredible. And also I think they have been clever in the sense that there's been certain programs that have really pushed the boundaries. But they have a different way of looking at things and it's on a, a smaller platform. And I, I really hope we don't have to lose one over the other. Okay. Along your, your way, what was the most important thing that you learned with your work? Mm, what the most? <laughs> I genuinely think it's about, I think it keeps evolving. And I think that's what's been so extraordinary about what's happened over the last couple of years, about people understanding their identity, understanding what's appropriate and not appropriate. And we've still got loads of work to do in that, but I think, it doesn't stop, you know, an editor's job is not something that just sort of like, a bit like a cameraman, you go and shoot it and then you're done. It's, it keeps evolving. At the moment I'm working on Matilda, we're going to be releasing the film in two months time and I'm still cutting the film while I'm back in the hotel right now because we haven't quite found what it's about in certain scenes or we think we can ch move the dial basically. So it's not about one thing. I think for me it's just a complete evolution of ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay, and about Spinho? Do you have had the time to, to see a bit? Do you like it? About Spinho, the oh, city. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> we say it I always, I keep thinking you're going to say it with an E. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it's extraordinary. I think there should be more explaining in English mm -hmm. um, <laughs> about the fishing and those incredible pictures of the bulls coming up off the beach and bringing all those boats. I think that is incredible. I would have I would, I've seen it dotted around the place, but it's not in English, sadly. But I just love all those images. And also, I just, I'm a bit of a ceramics person, so I just love seeing all the different sort of sculptures and sort of tiles around. So, you know, it's been wonderful. Lovely. Thank you. Good luck on editing yes. that one. <laughs>